Hi there, this is Charlie at My Messy Fingers. Welcome back. We are now going to do pages one and two in your album. But before we get started, I did come in and make a couple of little additional accents on both those back pages. Now, from the 12 by 12 papers, I cut a piece that is seven and three quarters across and is eight inches high. When these pages fold over, I want to make sure that they are going to lay as flat as possible. I like to build up my pages and we'll go through that as I go into building it. So what I do is I cut this so that I can come right up to the very edge. Let me get a piece of paper so I can show you what I'm talking about. So I'll come right up to the very edge and I try to have equal space top and bottom. But I want a quarter inch space here because as I build up this page, it's going to take up some of this room. I don't want to take this all the way here and then have the build up because then when you go to lay it, the build up gets stuck here and then you end up with a big boat effect. So I cut so that there is at least a quarter inch margin here. So out of your 12 by 12, you will cut this. I've done all my pre-cuts, so I'm ready to go. I also like to create um, different accents. I, I like to create height and depth. So I took this sheet out of the 8 by 8 pad and I fussy cut that guitar out so that when this lays on here, I took the guitar, I inked all my edges, and I matted it with some chipboard and then some pop-ups. So then when this gets sat back in, it's got some height to it. Plus, as you turn the pages, you're going to be able to see the black accent or the card stuck on the back side. Now, you can fussy cut uh, using whatever tool you have to do this. You can choose not to do it and just simply use this front page. There are three sheets of this, so you could come in up here and fussy cut around this and down pulling this piece out rather than trying to do the fussy cut using a knife, which is what I did. Now, the other thing when you, this piece here, your cardstock, it's going to measure across at seven and three quarters. And then it's going to measure in height just about seven and an eighth. Then you are going to score at a half inch and at five eighths. So that when you fold those, you can see, I hope you can see, that you're gonna have a, a build up here, a gusset here. And the reason I do that is as you start adding photos and other paper elements, it's gonna take up this gap. I don't want it like this, and then again you end up with not enough room to add things, and then the pages end up bowing. So go ahead and cut your piece, pause the video if you need to, score it very well on both sides so that you have this uh, eighth inch gusset. Sometimes I'll build up to a quarter inch depending upon how fat I want my pages because I love having fat pages. 
So when you're ready, uh, you can catch up. So what I'm going to do right now is I, this is my panel piece. It will go on in the book. I'm going to come in here and add my tape. I'm using 3 8 inch tape. I wear this on my fingertip because the tape has dried it out so bad. I use so much of it. Um, I treat it with lotion and all kinds of stuff, but I just really need to protect it. So that's why you're seeing bright pink. Now, you're going to take this and this score line closest to the taped edge, you're going to butt this right up to it so that when you fold that, this kind of stands up nice and tall. Make sure that you have your top and bottom lined up. I moved it and then get this folded up in there and over it goes. Burnish it. And there you can see we've got that bit of a build up there. I can take my fingertip off. You got a little bit of a buildup right there that will help um, allow for extra papers to be put in there and not create any bending or bowing effect. Now, this piece here, we're going to line it up. I'm going to do a dry measure here, real quick. I want this edge here to be just on the inside of the second score line. Okay. Now, before we do that, this is going to have a magnet opening. So I want that magnet on there before I add this because it, it will then be hidden. Um, I used a quarter inch uh, gusset again so that as you add filler this has a chance to lift and help absorb some of the um, height that you're going to end up being built on. You can cut this down to an eighth so that it matches. Um, I just make sure that I've got room for it to build up so I do it a quarter. So let's get this on. Now, this is eight inches. We're going to mark it right in the middle at four so that we can get this centered. I don't know why it is, but this, I always struggle with this piece. I'm going to make sure it gets in there right. Okay, we're going to come right up to that first score line press, and down it goes. Now I am using, I've got two different size magnets because this is going to be on the outside and it really only has one layer of paper to go through. I am going to do the smaller magnets. And again, you can get these at Scrap and Create. They have them in their store. I will provide links in the description so that you can click on those links and it will take you right there. Okay, I want a positive and I want a negative. Okay. Center this just a little bit down from that. Take this tape off. Now keep this standing tall. You don't want to do this. You don't want it to do this. So try and keep that standing tall and just press down. 
Okay. Now we are going to, ah, I love that click. So let's get this glued down. I'm gonna go around the guitar first. Hope you guys are having a good day and that life is treating you well. Okay, here we go. Now, again, I'm going to line this up here off the edge. That's more important. And get that centered. Lay it down gently. And then I'm going to burnish. Okay. Now my guitar. Again, you do not have to do this. You can opt not to. Or if you do... There's a couple of different ways you can get into the guitar. But I like doing this kind of stuff. I'm going to balance that right into its original space because I like to have different elements um, on the pages, something that will just kind of capture your eye. Now, this piece is going to go right here. Um, this, by the way, ended up being one and a quarter inches. I apologize, I should have told you that earlier. By about four and an eighth. And then I rounded the corners so that it gave, her, gave it a softer appeal. And then on the reverse side, I, I cut an opposing piece. Now I'm going to go around this magnet because I don't want the paper to lift. And I apologize if my head's getting in the video. Burnish around that really well so that glue adheres. Okay, so the outside of this is, is done now. For the inside, from your eight by eight, I took this piece and it's going to go right there. And then I cut, I just did something wrong. Well, that's okay, I can alter it. This, I meant to put this on first before I did everything because I created a fold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off. No big deal. And again, I have back issues, so I apologize that I have to bring my cutter into my workspace. Um, but it works for me. All right, so... Because this is a smaller piece in 
width, I want to make sure that at the pocket that I'm creating that we're going to have plenty of room here for you to insert things. So this ends up measuring the length of this piece and it is two and a half inches wide. And let's see if we can find our... Huh. That was funny. Now, if I'm doing something that you find annoying, please be gentle, but give me some good constructive criticism. I, people respond better to kisses than they do to spits. All right. I'm going to take this off. And then we're going to line that up with the corner to the corner. Burnish. And then from the scraps, I cut this piece so that it just sits in here. very nicely, uh, but I think I'm going to have to trim this down just a smidgen. So that I've got a little bit more of a border. Okay. There we go. that creates a nice contrast right there and then when you close this you see uh, a matching pattern for the front of this and now we're going to add this piece in 